to go with. Get in! Yeah! Yeah! Baby, Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today is Middlesbrough at home. Let's get down to last. Back at the King Power then for the second time this week. A big result on Tuesday after that 2 to win against Sheffield Wednesday. A chance to get another three points today against Middlesbrough. And at this point of the season, it's just about taking it game by game and picking them three points up. A slight bit of revenge on the cards as well today after, of course, Middlesbrough did beat Leicester in the reverse fixture back in November at the Riverside. Of course, that Sam Greenwood free kick separating the sides. But most importantly, three points today is what we need. Very strong side once again for Leicester. Only one change from Tuesday. Pats and Daka back into the side. For once, we're actually on time as well. So let's get down to the ground. Score prediction wise, you've got to back a Leicester win. It's going to be a tough game. Obviously, Borough are a decent side. If we get that early goal though, I think it's going to be pretty convincing. I'm going to go 2 to Leicester, Daka, and Mavadi. Side of the ground. Another display today from Union FS, which is fantastic to see. Obviously, the atmosphere at home this season hasn't been fantastic. Hopefully, today we can get it going, get another three points because at this point this season, just like I said, take it game by game. And if we keep winning, promotion is surely going to go. First big chance for Leicester. Ball gets played across. Leicester goal with a header. Just can't get over it enough. Just comes off the post. Ah oh, shit! Well in, bad. Pretty even game so far. Leicester have had the one chance, but more of a couple of corners. Both sides just working it. Got stepping. Get a foot in, lads. And so it's blue on our move. Yeah! Oh. Keep it going. Oh. Good chance that. Worked it well with scores Mama Diddy on the left, but just so I couldn't get in, but push back from Leicester. Go. Oh! Go on, Leicester. Go on. Here's on the break. Go on, Neil. Don't know if it was offside or not, but one nil. Big test of the mentality now. Need to come from beyond at home, which we have done a few times this season. Go on, Leicester. Shoot. Oh. Go on, Daka, get there. Oh. Go on, Abdul. Oh. Corner Leicester. Since it's scored on that goal, just got to go in the goal to the Hold it up, Ricky. Well in. Right. 
2 0. Such a poor goal to give away. Baba did you a poor touch to just didn't capitalise again now. It's going to take a real comeback. 4 1 after all. Very good start. We have to get the third goal though for this one. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, then find it. Oh. Oh. Go on, Lester. Go on, Lester. Seconds. Oh. Go on. Oh. Mark one of those games today. Yeah. Enzo rolling a nice scent, Cadden, Dakavadi all on. Gotta go for it here, but at the minute, just can't see it. Oh. That was it, that had to go in. Had to go in. Yes! Oh! Back from the King Power Stadium, a very frustrating result today. Um, a pretty poor performance from Leicester. I thought Middlesbrough did a very good job. He had a clear game plan and once again this season executed it and taken well, took six points from Leicester now um, so far this season. He could say they were slightly fortunate, obviously two shots, two goals, but then again they restricted Leicester to very little going forward, especially out wide. Obviously Enzo rolled the dice late on. He did have to take Mavadili Fatu off as well at times. We had all three strikers on at one sprung at good and all Brighton on and a McAteer to try and go for it, but just didn't really happen. We had a couple of half chances. Obviously Vardy got that goal towards the end, which gave us a bit more hope. And on another day, maybe we do take one of the half chances for Vardy Vestergaard before that, but just wasn't to be. I don't. We, I don't think we should. I don't think we should overreact too much. Um, you know, it's one of them results. It is, it is going to come, but I think now it's crucial to bounce back of a massive game on Friday night, which you know was big before, but now it's even more um, important because you know if we do lose that game, the gap can go down to six points, which isn't ideal. Obviously, the six point gap is still fantastic, but. You know, hopefully Leicester can, can get back on track after that disappointing result today and respond with a big performance at Ellen Road. Middlesbrough did well. Um, I just thought Leicester were pretty poor today and that's the most of it, really. Obviously, they, they came with a game plan. Just like I said, defended very well. Luke Ayling did a 
did a pretty good job, to be fair, um, throughout the whole game. So fair play to him. But yeah, for straight him, just comes down to both sides um, and, and, and who's world clinical. And today, that was Middlesbrough. So yeah, very, very, very frustrating. But we move on to Leeds on Friday night. If you enjoyed the vlog, drop a like. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section down below. And I'll see you boys on Friday night for the big one at Ella Road for Leeds away. See you then.